Welcome back to John's Films, where my most hated video ever on this channel is the architecture analysis, well, I mean, that sounds fine, right? Oh, of the Apple M1 MacBook when it first came out. Yeah, that might have triggered some people. Let's go find out if I was even close to right now that DaVinci Resolve in DaVinci Resolve 18 has written a native render engine completely from scratch to be able to run on this Mac. I have a $2,500 iMac we're gonna compare against four, eight, and 16 of the 5950X cores I've got over here running on the DaVinci Resolve Free Edition. Let's go see how it works out. Testing the same as I did in the CPU scaling video, I have a 4K timeline with both 4K and 8K footage coming from a DJI Mavic 2 Pro, a Sony A7S III, and a Nikon Z9. Here you can see each of these timelines is sequenced to run with each other. The performance we're looking at and the difference is in how many frames and how much stuttering occurs for each of the playback windows. You'll notice the 16 cores on the top left is the smoothest. Meanwhile, every time we hit Fusion, as you can see here with Mavic 2 Pro showing in the top right for the M1, the M1 bogs down hard. Look, it's still stuck on the Fusion rendering and it's now going to jump ahead nearly skipping the keyboard scene entirely. As we get closer to the end, you'll notice that we go through another fusion transition and a fusion rendered scene, just a 3D object scene. Both of those are also going to be a pain for the Apple M1 iMac. Here is that transition and you can see that we are yet again hung up by fusion. Now, I did some analysis and I looked at the activity monitor on the Mac to understand what's going on. It is entirely GPU bound. Lining the test clips back up and kicking them into a Fusion scene, you can see, yet again, Fusion brings the pain for the M1. Now, it is not entirely fair. There is a 3090 in this Windows machine, but that's somewhat the point. A dedicated graphics card is going to do much better than the APU that comes with the M1. Well, as you can see, clearly the GPU version is not up to snuff when it comes to complex fusion or even simple fusion tasks. And generally speaking, I would not want to edit on this M1. There are people out there that do it. There are people that don't use 4K footage, 8K footage, and they seem to get along just fine. But for me, in the types of things I edit, I still would not use that as my primary editing machine. I do have hope for the Pro and Ultra variants, which appear to be fantastic inside the Mac Studio. I hope to get my hands on one of those one day, but right now I'm going to continue editing on Windows so that I can also play games on the other side. If you aren't already, make sure to click subscribe. I have a 112 terabyte server that I'll be building and showcasing on the channel next. Thanks for watching and have a great day.